Hello guys, this is 50V Sri Lanka. Hello guys, this is 50V Sri Lanka and welcome to a brand new science lesson, Grade 10 Science Chapter 5 and that is nature of friction so let's see nature of friction if we place an object such as a pencil on a table and tap on it so that it starts to move on the table we know from experience that its speed would gradually decrease until it ultimately comes to rest if we place the same object on a surface smoother than the, that of the table, the object would move a longer distance on the surface before coming to rest. The forces that act between the surfaces of two objects in contact with each other to oppose the relative motion when the objects are moving relative to each other or to oppose the tendency to move when the objects have a tendency to move relative to each other are called frictional forces. Let's read it again. The forces that act between the surfaces of two objects in contact with each other to oppose the relative motion when the objects are moving relative to each other or to oppose the tendency to move when the object have a tendency to move relative to each other are called frictional forces. There are three such types of frictional forces and they are static friction, limiting friction, and dynamic friction. Static friction is no relative motion even though, the, uh, even though a force is applied on a body. And limiting friction is it just begins to move. Dynamic friction is the frictional forces that act on bodies when they are in relative motion. So these are three types of friction and the meanings of them are here. activity one in your textbook so let's see uh, items required a block of wood weighing 60 newtons a newton balance the body begins to move because the table surface is not capable of further increasing the frictional force in order to balance the force that you exerted in other words the frictional force does not exceed that force. The maximum frictional force exerted by the surface of the table to oppose the motion is equal to the force necessary to just start the motion. This frictional force exerted on the body before the motion start is called static friction. I told about this. This frictional force exerted on the body before the motion start is called static friction. The body begins to move and acquires a small velocity. This maximum frictional force between the surfaces of two bodies in contact with one another is known as the limiting friction between the two bodies. The frictional force acting on the body after the body starts to move is known as dynamic friction between the two surfaces. I thought about this. I talked about this. Dynamic friction is slightly less than the limiting friction. Factors affecting the limiting frictional force. And this is activity 2 in your textbook. The items required are a block of food weighing 6 newtons, a newton balance, and several sheets of sandpaper of various roughness. 60 newtons means 6 kilograms. Observation Observation of previous activity Activity number 2 You will observe that the limiting frictional force increases gradually with the increasing roughness of the sandpaper and used to cover the block of wood. And the conclusion of this activity is This activity shows that the limiting frictional force depends on the nature of the surfaces in contact. And that means if we increase the roughness of the surface, we 
it is difficult to move the object and if we decrease the roughness of the surface we can move easily this is activity number three and we have three block of foods so let's see the observation and conclusion observation of this activity Newton balance measurement will not change according to the blocks A, B and C. That means it will remain at same value for all three instances. The Newton balance reading won't change in these three instances and that means the value of the Newton balance is equal in all three states. Conclusion: The limiting frictional force does not depend on the surface area. Conclusion: The limiting frictional force does not depend on the surface area. It does depend on the nature of the surface and does not depend on surface area. This is activity number 4. We can see one wood block in this instance and two here and three here. Observation of this activity is the limiting frictional forces increase with the increase of weight. Weight of the object equal perpendicular reaction. That means this is the lowest weight one and this is the second one. This is the most weight one. Conclusion. This activity shows that the limiting frictional force increases when the normal reaction between the two forces increases. So now you have an idea about factors affecting the frictional forces practical applications of friction various parts of most of the machines and instruments that we use daily are in contact with other parts when we operate these machines and instruments these parts slide on one another giving rise to frictional forces Therefore, when machines are operated, an excessive amount of additional work has to be done against frictional forces, causing a loss of energy. Methods of Reducing Friction Reducing the roughness of contact surfaces or polishing them Applying lubricators such as graphite, lubrication oil or grease between the contact surfaces. Inserting balls that could roll between the contact surfaces. Such balls can prevent the two contact surfaces from sliding on each other. These are the strategies to reduce surface. These are some strategies to reduce the frictional force. Advantages of Frictional Forces We can walk on a surface only because of the frictional force exerted by that surface on our feet prevents slipping. If we try to walk on a wet surface or an oily surface, we tend to slip and fall due to lack of friction. The grooves of the tire helps to move the vehicle without sliding in rainy days. The grooves of the tires are shown in the picture. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any question related to this lesson, leave a comment and if you like this video, put a like and put a comment too. So don't forget to subscribe, bye bye.